What's up guys, we're looking at the X73. This is by Eashin. This is a mini FPV quadcopter. Um, this is what you get in the box. This is for the FR Sky transmitter. Uh, so it's kind of limited to what transmitter you can use with it. Uh, but it comes with this really extremely small camera that's on top, uh, 5.8 gigahertz. This has got this little whip antenna here. Um, and yeah, we got my first one that I got that was like in comparison was the QX 90 and I also have that one here. So, uh, some of the comparisons, this is actually a, a different camera that I put on there. The first camera I had on there after wrecking, I kind of tore some, uh, the, there was like some copper windings on the back that came out. And so I just went ahead and got a different camera. Uh, for it that works pretty good, but this camera is like extremely small like super small uh, Probably doesn't weigh very much and it comes disconnected and you have you have to connect it. It comes with this really tiny uh, plastic nut and kind of bolt type thing and it doesn't hold the camera on there very well uh, I have a zip tie that I just ended up zip tying it on there and there are some dip switches here on the back, so I think it might be like a like a 40 channel, um, 40 channel transmitter there. But it's all built in one. Things very tiny. I'll go ahead and put it on the scale here real quick. We'll Weight in grams. It weighs 30 grams without the battery, with the camera included. And the QX90. Remember, I have a different camera on there, but weighs 40. So we got. 30 and then 40 grams now this also doesn't come with any batteries which is kind of disappointing if you haven't you know if you don't have any batteries laying around uh they suggest a one cell 350 milliamp battery which i have right here but i've also flown with like 500 milliamp hour batteries uh which i have right there but you'll need to get some of these uh to fly uh, it does have a guard on it which i really like compared to the qx90 didn't come with a guard you can purchase a guard for it uh, but this one comes with a guard and the plastic on it. I've already uh, broke it in one area uh, Just put some hot glue on there and but this feels you know I'm sure if you took off this it might fly, you know, you might be a little bit more aggressive even but this is thing just I don't know the plastic feels a little bit brittle um, But hope maybe they sell a repair for it and maybe you'll have a new plastic there uh, now how it flies it flies pretty good uh, it doesn't have as much power at all the motors are actually bigger on the qx90 uh, so they're smaller motors it doesn't have as much punch but if you're flying and say you know you're just flying through somewhere and you don't have to do a lot of like punching out to like get up and over things it's not good in that sense but if you're just flying around and you know you're going straight and staying at one altitude uh, it flies really good. The camera is really good. The transmission on it is, uh, you know, pretty decent for what it is. I like on the bottom, uh, the QX90, you had to kind of use a rubber band to strap it on the bottom. This one has a little uh, place to hold the battery. I'll just kind of slide a battery in there. 
this plugs in like that and yeah it's uh let's go out and we'll just uh give it a fly and you guys can see how it flies all right guys we are at the park we're gonna do some flying with this guy you see it firsthand here now one thing i did notice yesterday when i was flying is that i had a battery that just cut out like when i was flying it would just cut out now i'm not sure if that was an issue with the quad or the battery but i have a few batteries here so i'll start off with the uh one that they recommend that's the 350 milliamp hours welcome to open tx so i'm gonna do some line of flight oops i just plugged in the wrong battery uh line of flight <laughs> or <laughs> Line of sight, sorry. This one doesn't want to plug in. There we go. Okay. Let's go ahead, check it out here. All right. So with the 350 milliamp hour battery. Here's the yaw, pretty quick. Go forward, backwards. Go right, left. So you can see about the speed of it, I mean it's quick. But when we go and do a punch test, I'm gonna go bring it in here and do a punch test. Here we go. Look, when I punched out, it's like cutting and fading out. So it seems like the uh, receiver on this loses some power with these smaller batteries. Let me see uh, if I don't punch out how it will fly. So if I don't punch out, it flies just fine with this battery. We'll put uh, one of the 500 milliamp hour batteries in that and see if it will take care of the problem. But with these smaller ones, you can see when you punch out, it's no, uh, it's no good, obviously, which kind of kind of stinks. You know, you want these little ones to be pretty aggressive. So when you're flying, oh. And there it just kind of did it again. But man, if it didn't do that, and it's doing it again there. Oh, took a little wreck. Let's go ahead, switch out, put in the 500 milliamp hour. I don't know why that would make a difference, um, but we're gonna see if it does. So, go ahead, put this guy in there. And the difference in these batteries is like five grams. So pretty big difference. Okay. So here we are now with the 500 milliamp hour battery. Let's do the same thing. Let's do the, I can definitely tell it's got more weight, but let's do the punch test. They're on full throttle. So, like I said, for punching out, it's not gonna be very good, but if you have a 500 milliamp hour battery in there, and that's, like I'm full throttle right there trying to recover. But like I said, if you just stay one altitude and zip through stuff, I really enjoy this quad. Like, I think it's pretty, you know, it's scaled down flyer or whatnot, but the camera on it, I really like the camera. So with those smaller batteries, 350 milliamp hour, you might have a little more pet, but when you go to punch out, you know, like something's in your way, you gotta kinda get up and go higher for a second. It ain't gonna do it. It's just, doesn't have the power. Put the 500 milliamp hour in there. Now what I could probably do 
is take off the prop guards, get back some of that weight, cut some of that weight, and then uh, it might be flying a little bit better with the 500 milliamp hour in there. But uh, one thing I did want to point out too is that it doesn't come with extra propellers. So we'll go ahead, put the uh, goggles on here and do some flying now. Some people are here. Whoop. Hi, how are you? All right, guys, I went ahead and switched locations just so, you know, no people are around here. I'm gonna do some FPV flying now so we can check out more of the camera. I'm gonna stick with the 500 milliamp hours. That way I just don't bog out and Welcome to open can actually stay flying. thing doesn't want there we go and I'll go ahead start recording here and we'll go ahead and fly So yeah, as I'm flying here, I mean, it flies, like I said, at one altitude, but if I want to punch up and really get some altitude, it's got a really slow recovery. So it's just kind of like, a, oh, you just kind of drift around, I guess. Still super fun to fly, though. So there you go, there's a pretty decent look at it. Uh, I wish it had a little bit more punch to it, but besides that, it's a it's a real steady flyer. It's a lot of fun to fly. This camera, I love this camera. It's got, you know, really decent range on it. And uh, yeah, I like it. I wish I had more power, but this will do for now. So I'll put a link in the description. That's that, thanks for watching.